Hello Photo Mechanic users, this is John from CameraBits, and this is a tutorial on using Photo Mechanic software. Today, we're going to take a deeper look at Ingest. We like to say that Photo Mechanic keeps you organized, and one of the best ways to improve organization is right when we ingest images off our memory cards after a long session of taking pictures. It's a core component of Photo Mechanic, and the first step in maintaining long-term organization. Photo Mechanic can move our files, automatically rename them, and copy them into one or more folders, including backups, right off the bat. It's all up to you. If you can harness the power of these available options, the rest of your workflow will be smoother, too. Here we bring up the ingest dialog either from the file menu or with the command G shortcut. The first thing we want to take note of is our source paths, a list of our possible image sources. This is usually our camera card, but we can choose a folder by selecting the appropriate radio button here. Here we see my camera card is ready and waiting. If you have multiple cards ready at once, you can ingest them simultaneously. Photo Mechanic can handle the load. Next, we see our source directory structure options. This will let us dictate how we handle folder paths on the original card. By selecting Ignore, we let Photo Mechanic deliver all images to a single destination. Keep separate source folder names only will discard the default DCIM folder your camera stores images in, but retain any folders created in camera. Lastly, Preserve All Source Directories will keep your entire folder structure, including the DCIM folder. Here we have our Copy Photos options, which allow us to dictate where the photos will go, be it directly into the destination folder, into a dated folder, a folder with a name, or a dated folder, then a folder with a name. If you select Folder with a Name, a space appears for you to name said folder. You can use variables, sequence numbering, or code replacements to name and organize these folders quickly. And below that, you'll see the destination path itself, so you can be sure the images are going where you want them. Our destination folder routes options here allow us to ingest an exact copy of our photos to a second folder, thus creating a mirrored backup. These filtering options let us choose between ingesting locked versus unlocked files and raw versus JPEG files. The Apply IPTC Stationary Pad to Photos option can save you innumerable hours by making sure every photo has capture, copyright, credit information, and so much more. In a future video, we'll give the IPTC Stationary Pad the full detail it deserves, but for now, I am adding some basic copyright and location info. Below this is the option to use local or global IPTC Stationary Info. This is useful for when you have several photographers ingesting photos onto one machine at an event. When you select Use Local IPTC Stationary Info, the IPTC info you enter will only be applied to the images on this ingest. By default, we're set to use Global IPTC Info. Another time-saving feature in the ingest dialog is the ability to rename our images. Here you can directly type a name for all your files, or use any of Photo Mechanic's myriad variables such as user, date, or sequence down here. Do note that variable is sticky, meaning if you ingest 50 images on this go-around, your next ingest will automatically start at 51. That is, unless you click the Set Sequence Variable button here. We recommend you add a prefix of a few zeros, which will give you more unique numbers to increment. If I put two zeros here, I can go all the way up to 999. Near the bottom of the ingest dialog is the option to open our contact sheet during ingest, after ingest, or not at all. Since Photo Mechanic is so quick at making thumbnails, you can begin tagging and previewing your images before the ingest process is even complete. You can automatically unmount the source disk after ingest, making it safe to remove your card as soon as your images are uploaded from it. And lastly, we have the option to erase the source disk after ingest is complete. Although Photo Mechanic will not remove your files unless all of them are copied without error, we at CameraBits do recommend that you at least briefly inspect the files on your destination disk before removing them from the source disk. 
Once we have all our settings to our satisfaction, we'll click ingest, and voila! The process begins as you see by the progress bar. If you're ingesting multiple cards, you'll see a bar for each one. And before we know it, we have our contact sheet. Now we're ready to start sorting, culling the rejects, and picking our amazing winners. But that's in another tutorial. To review, we just took an in-depth look at Photomechanics ingest features, including the ability to choose which folders and files to import from the source disk, the destination and folder path where our images will be ingested to, and ingest's ability to help you rename and add metadata to your images as you transfer them to the destination disk. Stay tuned for more tutorials about some of Photomechanics' other key features. If you have any trouble, please stop by our support forum or contact us through the support link on our webpage at camerabits.com. Have a great day, and happy photographing!